Can you say why America is the greatest country in the world? Diversity and opportunity. Lewis? Uh, freedom and freedom. So let's keep it that way. Well, the New York Jets. <laughs> no, I'm going to hold you to an answer on that. I want a human moment from you. What makes America the greatest country in the world? It's not America, the, greatest the greatest country in the world, Professor. That's my answer. You're saying yes. Let's talk about... Fine. The Sharon, the NEA is a loser. Yeah, it accounts for a penny out of our paycheck. It doesn't cost money. It costs votes. It costs airtime and column inches. You know why people don't like liberals? Because they lose. If liberals are so fucking smart, how come they lose so goddamn always? Hey, and with a straight face, you're gonna tell students that America is so star-spangled awesome that we're the only ones in the world who have freedom? Japan has freedom. The UK, France, Italy, Germany, Spain, Australia, Belgium has freedom. So 207 sovereign states in the world, like 180 of them have freedom. All right. And yeah, you, uh, sorority girl, just in case you accidentally wander into a voting booth one day, there's some things you should know. And one of them is there is absolutely no evidence to support the statement that we're the greatest country in the world. We're seventh in literacy, 27th in math, 22nd in science, 49th in life expectancy, 178th in infant mortality, third in median household income, number four in labor force, and number four in exports. We lead the world in only three categories. Number of incarcerated citizens per capita, number of adults who believe angels are real, and defense spending, where we spend more than the next 26 countries combined, 25 of whom are allies. So when you ask what makes us the greatest country in the world, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yosemite? Sure used to be. <laughs>